Hi there, and welcome to another episode of The Doe Show for Monday, June 18th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Madame Dentris, and we have another really full show for you today. It was the second week of Pride here in Edmonton, and it was crazy busy. Actually, there was a bunch of shows that we didn't even get the chance to film. There was so much going on. Mm. But we did make it to everything we could. Starting last Wednesday, we had Sky at West Edmonton Mall in the Starlight Casino at the new Haley's Club, uh, Her Majesty's Drag Show. Uh, it was a different kind of concept for an event. It was hosted by Lilith Fair. Um, the original plan, I believe, was that each performer was going to do like a half hour set kind yeah. of thing. But what they ended up doing is the three side performers, um, Lady Tenderflake, Chelsea, Chelsea Horrendous, and all my bitches from Vancouver. Um, they actually, did a rotation. They did a rotation. So they did six numbers each, just bang, 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 bang. Uh, and it was it was fantastic. It was uh, it looked like everyone was having a fantastic time, and um, the numbers were great. It was kind of like the greatest hits of Chelsea's mm. and Lady Tenderfoot. Yeah, it totally was. And we got six performances from Mama Bitches, and she really was quite entertaining. Yeah. Uh, and, and she's new to our channel. Yeah. So it's wonderful to have just six numbers just right in a row. Exactly. On brand new channel. Loved the George Michael cover and uh, the Fergie number, and yeah, it was just, it was really a lot of fun. So anyway, welcome to the channel, Alma Bitches, and if you haven't checked them out, you definitely need to. Um, I also got a chance to quickly say hi to her on Thursday at uh, karaoke, and oh, it seems, like, seems like a really good guy, so uh, yeah, that was fantastic. I would be remiss, though, if I did not discuss Lilith Fair. Um, not only did she host all three sets, but she did the third set entirely herself. It was 11 numbers back to back. <laughs> so uh, was that an hour of performance? Uh, it, it worked out to about well, 45 minutes it looked like. But yeah, it was, it was basically an hour of, of Lilith just one after the other. And like she started off in like the full costume and then slowly started taking stuff off for another number oh, and then nice. another number. And then towards the very end, Lilith broke her leg, <laughs> crawled off stage, and Diane showed up to help. <laughs> we love Diane. We do love Diane. It was very nice to see her back from the dead. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it was absolutely fantastic. So I have to believe that's got to be pretty close to a record of that many numbers in a row without, mm -hmm. like, just crazy. So, uh, really interesting concept, and I... Who better than a little fair to, to bang that out? So, uh, congratulations to them. It really looked like it was a great event, and I hope that they do another one, because it really looked like a lot of fun. And as I said, from the videos, the audience was eating it up. So, congratulations yeah. to everybody. Thursday! Uh, our boy Brayden was at Chicago's. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago's. Chicago's. Love that place. Um... And it was another episode of the Royal Tea for Fruits and Suits, hosted by Melinda Verga. Yes, nice. She had her regulars, Lady Tenderflake, No Vagina, Gigi, Christy. Um, but I also added in this time, we had Lola, we had Colin Bay. Yes, and, Colin. And, and, and more. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was yet another fantastic show. Uh, sounds like they all had a really good time. And uh, all of those videos are also available now on our channel. <laughs> so go check them out. Friday was Quicker Kitty Cat. Die, die! Uh, the new production by 50% Fruit Productions. Um, it's the fourth in the series <laughs> <laughs> by Zachary Parsons Lazinski. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was just hilarious. Now, it's kind of a parody on, on Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, uh, like this 1969 female exploitation, ridiculous camp movie. Yeah. Um, and Metro uh, had actually put on a version of that with Homicidal a few months ago kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So for anybody that's following along at home, if you had gone to that, this would have made a lot of sense because it really was kind of that same kind of storyline and then with Lilith's yeah that was a crazy movie Lilith's twist on it uh, I had seen the movie 
Bad, I had not. I had not. <laughs> but immediately after getting home from Quaker Kitty Cat, I watched the movie um, available on YouTube. I watched the movie all night and, and actually got nightmares. But aside from that, it was a very well done parody of the movie and uh, you got the characterizations right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fabulous. Those characterizations. It was awesome. fabulous. Chelsea Chelsea was the standout for me. Well, there was a few, but Chelsea, Chelsea. was Chelsea was fabulous. Uh, her, her Miss Piggy karate chops oh. were just absolutely hilarious. Yeah. Um, Trey was fantastic in that role. Yeah. Um, congratulations. Cat, who was who that? Was Yes. <laughs> as, somebody, as somebody who got to the bar for Act 2, and I stumbled into this thing, and yeah. Cat's yeah. role had already passed, and, yeah. and I didn't know who this... You got Zombie Cat, that was about it. <laughs> I didn't know who this guy was who was in the bar. I know! With a bushy eyebrow. It was amazing. It was amazing. And honestly, you looked kind of like Mario, so to hear Mario's voice coming out of Florida <laughs> was kind of extra funny. Um, uh, speaking of which, that was just amazing. Uh, and, a, and, a, and a wonderful little way to get Lourdes involved without using her speaking voice. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was uh, fantastic. Uh, Vula was amazing in Vula that. Vula was great. Goblin was amazing in that. Goblin! My god! Yeah. Like, I just died. Like, I... <laughs> you came out to get a drink before people kind of got there kind of thing, and it like, it looked like part Grinch, part... Like, oh. it was just, it was just bizarre, but it was perfect. Like, it was just, it was fabulous. Goblin, you're perfect. Yes, we have loved you in each production that you have done, and, and we're 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 so happy that the love keeps casting you because you are a standout every yeah. single time. So uh, yeah, no, it was a fantastic, fantastic play. Um, so videos will be coming very, very soon. We have them done. They're ready to upload. We've just yeah. been lazy and busy all weekend. So videos from Friday night are coming soon. Videos are also coming from Saturday. Um, ben de la Creme. Ben de la Creme. Yes, was back at Evolution Wonder Lounge. And again, again just really such a sweetheart. And I was actually working on Saturday, so I was a bit more of the backstage kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So had some conversations with Ben as he was passing through the uh, back room to head out to the stage and stuff like that. And just an all-around wonderful, sweet person. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Ben on coming back. We were so happy that you were able to trill, fill in for Latrice when she was here a couple mm -hmm. of months ago. And as I joked to you as you were leaving, leaving the other night, um, you know, if we ever have another cancellation, we'll call you. <laughs> yeah. The crowd was yeah. eating you up. It was just, it was amazing. And as you were joking, they were paying you to stand there and do nothing. And what better than that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Ben was fantastic. Um, they had did a, of burlesque. Oh, no yeah, sorry. I was just going to say, she did, a, she did a Jesus Christ Superstar number, mm -hmm. which was sacrilegious. Like, it was just wonderful. And then did a uh, poll to the audiences to see whether they wanted her to redo her burlesque number from the last time she was here, or whether they wanted another cabaret number. And the audience voted, and so we got the burlesque number again. And again, it was so good. Yeah. So it's, it's classic Ben. So yeah. it was fantastic. Um, the whole evening was hosted by Rob, uh, there was performances by Lilith and her amazing dress that she got by, um, oh, I'm not going to get them right, the corset dress people again, I'm sorry, creative course, I, I get it wrong every time, but they're wonderful, the dress was fabulous. Um, Kiki? <laughs> yes, Kiki. Sex bomb! With the sex bomb. Fabulous. Kiki was great. Uh, Latabi was Latabi. in the show. Vanity, tequila, um, Rusty oh. Kingfisher, mm -hmm. Scarlet Bon Bomb, like it was just, it was a fantastic show. So, yes. um, and again, the, the crowd was eating up the local talent. So it's, that is always the highlight for me is to have our local talent performing to an absolutely rabid audience of drag fans. It's just, yeah. it's a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, we had one more show this past weekend and that was on Sunday. Uh, Shishi LaRue was in town all weekend long and she hosted the second annual fish bowl at Evolution. And uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting show. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, there was there was six official performers mm -hmm. in the show. Um, in the contestants in the pageant, and that was Lady Tenderflake, Shayla Zon LaRue, Sher Majesty, Miss Indecisive, No Vagina, and Bubbles LaRue the ice cream. Ice cream. 
Ice Queen. That's a whole lot of LaRue's. That was three LaRue's in one show. Fifi, yeah. we miss you, girl. Fifi needed to be there. Yeah, she really did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they were the official <laughs> contestants, and, and they all did great. They, they each had to prepare a number, yeah. and then they had to draw a, knee, a number out of the hat. And, and some were a little bit easier for others because they had a wider variety of knowledge, maybe, mm -hmm. but some were actually quite difficult. So uh, yeah, it made for a really interesting evening, and, and uh, each one of them did their best, so I'll definitely give them that. Yeah. Um, she, she decided midnight that she wanted to add some people to the competition, so um, Puddin actually made her debut. Uh, yeah. She's in the show next week as well for Lilith's show, but she actually made her debut uh, wow. at the review last night for Evo. And um, Adam Perzik, um, yeah. or yeah. Veronica van der Kuntz, or... Lichter Kuntz. Lichter Kuntz. Uh, I seem to remember last year they also had... Uh, they did. They had drop-ins as well. I think it was Plastica and... Plastica and, and, and not Melinda. I, oh, there was I'm a couple, get this wrong. There I'm was a couple. this wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, but yeah, they both did. They both did their best, and Adam just—he moves like he's just an incredible, incredible. He didn't know a single word. <laughs> God oh, yeah. bless him. But I mean, you but he still turned it one. out. He turned it out. It was really what, and he actually made it to the final two. Um, performing, but not officially a part of the competition, uh, was last year's winner, Cat Marlo Menora, who did a fantastic job. Um, Ruby Hyman. And Twiggy yes. all performed as part of that show as well. So uh, it really was an interesting, fun night. At the end of it all, Sher Majesty was our winner of the Fishbowl 2. So congratulations to Sher Majesty. You got a title, bitch. You've done it. <laughs> but yeah, it was a super packed pride weekend here in Edmonton. And uh, yeah, check out all of those videos coming up soon on Dragging Our Heels. Anyway, that was last week. And this is this week. On Saturday we got uh, Show Us Your Newbies at Evo, hosted by Latabi Lexington. And that's always really good, isn't it, Stephen? Yeah, she puts on a great show, and it, her Show Us Your Newbies series is always featuring new burlesque performers that she is debuting. So uh, we're super excited to be there for them, to check that out. So that's going to be fantastic. On Sunday, because we're not through yet, on Sunday we're back at Evo for Lilith's Wet Nightmare. Mama's back to host another Sunday review, and you know it's going to be fabulous. She always turns it out, so it's going to be a really good time. Uh, who's all on the show? Uh, Lilith, Indigo, Puddin, Davina, Pheromone, Chelsea, and... K-A-T -K spells cat. Oh, that says cat. Oh. <laughs> 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 I may have done the right <laughs> So anyway, uh, as usual, tons of videos coming up on our channel, so make sure you like, share, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And yeah, as always, let's do a pick of the week. Yes. What do you think? Um, it was a very, very tough choice. I know. Because we saw so much amazing drag this weekend, like, let's be honest. Well, and, and strangely for both of us is because of other commitments and things, a lot of us, we didn't, we didn't personally see a lot of it live. So yeah. we really were relying on dragging our heels to, to be able to watch them all. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I, I, it's, it's kind of an interesting It's an interesting time. week mm -hmm. this week because we didn't see a whole lot of them live, exactly. as you said. But yeah, what do you think? Um, I really got a kick out of um, Scarlet Von Baum's dinosaur number. Like the the whole theme with the dinosaur, I was just like, you and Lord is the Merry Virgin. I'd like to see a duet, the Jurassic Park theme. It's true. Boom boom, Agalaka boom boom was yes. absolutely fantastic. And oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it really I was. I just need to see like the dinosaur mashup between these two artists. That's a good choice. That's a really good choice. Um. Uh, Lilith Fair, Missionary Man. I thought it was fantastic. Oh, um, I, 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 was, I was trying to decide which Lilith one to go with. To be honest, because there was a few from the HMD show that were really great as well. But yeah, I, I, I always love it when she sings live. She knows I love the Eurythmics. That was actually my debut song. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was, it was extra fantastic. And yeah, I just, I just loved it. And that dress, and yeah, 
Yay! Yay! I'm happy with that song choice because I do have, again, like that connection to the song through you. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, it was a fantastic week. So uh, yeah, thank you as always for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.